I am going to show you how to make a rectangle shaped frame for Canva. Obviously, there are many here that are already in the frames um, within the elements of Canva, but sometimes I have noticed that the size isn't perfect. I personally use these frames to create mock-ups from AI images that I can then sell on Etsy. If you want to learn more about that, there will be additional videos linked below the video, but I'm just going to show you how you can create your own frames. So there are many videos on YouTube to show how to create frames, but when I tried it, it didn't work because I was trying to create a rectangle. And after some research, I learned that Canva does not recognize a rectangle automatically as a frame, but there is a workaround and that is what I'm going to show you. So if you tried one of the other videos on YouTube and it didn't work, this should get you there. We're going to focus on using PowerPoint to create our frame. So let's go over to PowerPoint. You're just going to open a new slide, nothing special about it, and you're going to create your rectangular frame, whatever dimensions that you need it to be. You can adjust it up here or you can adjust it manually. The next thing that you need to do is remove the outline. So we are going to click on shape outline and click no outline. The next thing we're gonna do is fill it with a picture. This is a really critical step. So if you go to, we're gonna go up to shape fill and click the down arrow and we are going to fill it with a picture. Now, please note that if you try to fill it with a color, a gradient, or a texture, this technique generally will not work. You need to go to picture, and you can use a stock image, insert, and there we go. So if you were creating any other frame shape, you could go ahead and move on to the next step, but because I am creating a rectangle, or if you are creating a square, Canva will not recognize it if you move on. There is one more thing we need to do, and all it is is we need to rotate this just the tiniest bit. And what that will do is it will throw Canva off of its <laughs> off of its game a little bit. It will no longer recognize this as just a plain rectangle or square, and it will allow this trick to work. So next, we are going to go to File and Save As, and you need to save this as a PDF. So we're going to type in rectangle doesn't matter what you save it as, you, what you name it, save. Okay, and now it is saved as a PDF. Now we're gonna pop back over to Canva and we're gonna go to a new, um, a new screen here. We're gonna go to create a design. We're gonna click import file. And from our new folder, we are going to import the PDF we just created. Once it is in here, you can double click on it. When you click on your image and you click, you hit the key delete, it will remove the picture we were using as a filler and you now have a frame. So you can bring over whatever pictures you need to to use it as a frame. You can go ahead and copy and paste this into other projects and you now have the shape that you need. And if you need it to be a regular rectangle, you can always go ahead and just bring it back to zero. And there you go. I hope this helped. If you for some reason don't have PowerPoint, there is another video where I'm gonna show you how you can do this with Google Slides. Um, and it is also just a quick and easy workaround and that will be linked below if you need that. Um, by all means, check out some of my other videos, take a look at the AI uh, work that I'm doing right now. It is really exciting and, and uh, I just invite you to take a peek. Hope this was helpful, have a great one.